All right, I'm going to do this video right here on how to be what our children need now. I am having like the worst lupus flare. My bones are on fire and I'm trying to OD on Paul Darko. But so y'all might see me going in and out. It's because I'm I'm overheating. So I wanted to make this video. on being able to guide your children through ascension and um, waking up in this new world that's happening. 2020 is happening. It's, it's happening. These kids that, that was born after 2000, they got a job to do. They need the participation of their parents to guide them through it. And I could tell you the 20 years of my journey was halted because my mom thought that I was a witch. And she said, she used to always say, get out of here with that black magic shit. You dark, you evil, you dark. Uh, one day I came to my mom's house. I was about 19. And I said, you know, uh, something is about to happen in three. Something is about to happen in three. And my cousin got raped. And then there was another incident that happened. And then I said, oh, my Aunt Charmaine. And then we found out my Aunt Charmaine had brain cancer. And my mom said, you coming over here bringing that negative shit and you making all this stuff happen. Can you imagine what a 19-year-old child feels when her mom say, you bringing death to the family? <sighs> so, I made my first potion in the bathroom, I think at like 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 5 years old. <laughs> Five years old at my grandparents' house. I made potions with whatever liquids I can get. And um, I did a lot of magic with mud. Okay, I'm telling you guys this. This is very personal and none of your business. But I'm telling you this so you can go back across your life. Think about memories where you was doing something that maybe someone else thought was unusual or off or odd. Whatever that is, that's a puzzle, a piece to your puzzle. That's a piece of your Akashic records. It's very important. Okay? So you have to do some inventory on yourself. <clears throat> After my Aunt Charmaine died from the brain cancer, I stopped. I stopped tapping in. I stopped doing the tarot card. I stopped learning. I stopped reading. I couldn't. That When she said that shit to me, that black magic, whew, it felt like I wanted to hide in a corner of shame or something. Now, mind you, I come from a 80% a dominant Muslim family, 20% Christian. No percent occult, hoodoo voodoo, earth magic, no percent. So 
So when I was 21, I left all of them. I took my kids with this disease, sick as I was, and I moved eight hours away from my family. Because I don't want to be around nobody who think I'm evil and I make bad shit happen. She never knew that's why I left. Hmm. And that's why I kept leaving. I never went back. Um, so from the age of 21 to currently, I have lived in multiple states. I've gone home occasionally for about 12 months to regroup because I do have this disease. And uh, my kids had to be in foster care a few times because of it. So there were periods of my life where I went home to live for a year or two to get treatment. <clears throat> Believe it or not, at that time, Philadelphia was the place to treat my lupus more accurately than the other states that I had lived in. So anyway, that was traumatizing to me. And so it, it took me off the righteous path path. And it wasn't until now don't get me wrong. I've I still I still did spells. I still did spells. I've done spells throughout my life when I needed them. When I needed them. But the actual studying and taking it serious and going deep and vision questing. That was from 2017. So it was like all of these years that I wasted where I could have been training. Honing my craft. Being an expert at what, what I'm supposed to be an expert at. So I'm telling you all this so that... If if you see, me and my husband got this theory in our head that a lot of the issues that he had with his mom is because his mom saw him do something when he was a kid. And the reaction that my mom had about me saying that my aunt was about to die, uh, was kind of like the reaction his mom had when she saw him in his power. Now, that story is for him to tell, so I'm not going to get into all that. But if you are a parent who has a special child, and let me make this motherfucking clear, your ADHD, ADD, on the spectrum, badass kids, autistic kids, dumb, dumb, marvel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then this shit ain't for you. But all y'all dumb, dumb kids, all y'all rejects, Marvel. So you better train them properly. You better train them properly before the wrong energies get involved. Okay? Teach your kids about having superpowers. Let them know that these movies, these sci-fi movies, is not fake. Okay? Switch everything around. Whatever seems completely and totally unfucking believable can't happen is the real. That is real. Okay? So be there for your children, support your children, encourage your children. And ask your child a question. This is what I had to do with my son. I said, son, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Okay? If you had a superpower, what would it be? While they're thinking about it. I want to say that if you... 
have a child that takes a long time to think about it. It's probably not the superpower that they possess. If you have a child that knows exactly what their power is immediately, that is facts. That's facts. If your fucking child tell you they can fly, they can fly. Okay? People have to start breaking down the way they used to think because the way you used to think is wrong. When you're putting your children in primary school, secondary school, post-school, graduate school, whatever, when you put them in school, you are literally teaching them somebody else shit so they never learn who they are. But the people that you're teaching them about know who they are. Do you understand me? I'm looking at my my daughter and we going through some shit right now because my daughter is having some medical issues. And she believe the white man over me. And there ain't shit I can do about it. So. Trying. To get your child to understand their own individual power. Is going to be damn near impossible. If you keep putting them into an institution. Where they're being trained that they have no power. Where they're being told on a daily basis that they have no power. And this is the power. And this is the power you feed into. I can literally heal my child right now. She won't hear of it. Because she's conditioned. So it's very important. I'm telling you this because I can tell you that my way was the wrong way. With that particular child, there was no possibility of you not being a, a educated beast. I made sure of that shit. She got multiple degrees, multiple degrees, highest intelligence. Teachers telling me I can't teach your daughter no more. It ain't nothing else I know. I thought that was the best thing in the world while we was growing up that educational path. She's traveling the world, getting education from all over the world, studying international communications and business all over the world. But when I say eat this moringa seed, oh my God, no. Drink this sour sop. You got parasite, bitch. That's what that is. That's a parasite. No, I'm going to just go ahead and let them do the biopsy and do this and do that. She grown though. So, so you don't get to this point where you're in your awakening, but now you've raised fools because you was a fool. Because you was ignorant. You ain't know. You was only doing what you was taught. The people who taught you was only doing what they was taught. The people who taught them was only doing what they was taught. This shit never ends. So I'm asking you to end it now. Sit down with your kids and ask them what their superpower is. I didn't even have to ask one of my kids. I saw this girl walking. She kept walking into the wall. And I said, what the fuck are you doing? She was like, I could walk through the wall. I was like, well, baby, you keep hitting your head. And then I realized. I said, stop. Focus. Concentrate. And then do it. Because even in that moment, as much as I know now, I was about to tell my child she can't walk through that motherfucking wall. You have to, you have to keep, you got to keep on working on yourself. 
and do better things for your children so they won't have to go through what we went through.